This is my message to you. Singing, don't worry about a thing. Cause every little thing is gonna be alright. Singing, don't worry about a thing. Cause every little thing is gonna be alright. Check J no where's the B Hey what's up everyone? It's JNO Podcast episode 41 with your host JNO. And today I got my reoccurring guest star Sharina Garcia and P.O. Mao up in here. What's up, y'all? Happy oh. Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Yeah, and we just chilling. I thought that was pretty cool. First take, you know? Yeah. I'll probably cut it up a little bit, but I thought it was cool how, like, we kind of... It's cool, like, the chemistry that we have together as artists. It's, like, yeah. mm-hmm. so, like, we, we did, like, because um, no, one, no one hears this because we always prep and stuff when we're, like, about to sing, but, like, how we just split off into, like, just harmonizing <laughs> with each other. It's just, like, I, I think it's hella dope. Ooh, right. I would just, like, split like that. You're, like, beatboxing, Absolutely. Pat, you know, or singing. Versa. We're real musicians here, okay? Yeah, we don't use you know. auto-tune. Well, maybe a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. A little bit of pitch correction here and there. But we really yeah. don't need it, right. though. You know, because exactly. that's that's why we study music. Um, mm-hmm. Just going to school together and stuff. For anyone who doesn't know, yeah. we all met, like... Voice class. Yeah, at college <laughs> together, you know? Exactly. Been friends till this day. Going so. strong. Yeah, yes. going strong. <laughs> going strong. Wait, who are you guys again? Just kidding. <laughs> 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 just fucking around. Take a shot. Take a shot. All right, all right. Shotty awesome. shot. Yeah. Shot clock. Cheers. Ooh, yeah. Ooh I'm out of chase. Oh. But let's do it. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be cool. Uh, yeah. Uh. Mind grabbing my uh, water, actually? Is that my water? water? Oh, I think okay. I put it on the couch. But... Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. I think I moved it. That's... Yeah. Thanks. Anyways. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> Ooh. Tequila. 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 Kill you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, man. I'm actually just gonna adjust the camera. Okay. Just slightly, but we're still in here. I'm always making adjustments. <laughs> Ooh. Man. Yeah, I know. It's been a long day, y'all. So, for anyone um, that is watching, listening, you guys can, see, well, at least uh, watching visually, I got new glasses. Ooh, In fact, like literally like a couple hours ago, <laughs> brought Sharina with me. I, yeah, I went with them. <laughs> yeah, you know, we were just chilling. And then they fucking called me up, and I'm like, all right, fuck it. Let me just go ahead and just pick, it, pick this up real quick because I'm about to film anyway. Just get it out the way. Yeah, yeah. new style, new look. So, yeah, yeah. Swaggy, swaggy. Those type of things. But happy Valentine's Day, y'all. Happy Valentine's happy Day. Happy Valentine's. And if you're single, don't feel bad, okay? Because um, at least you're free <laughs> right now. Being in a relationship is a lot of hard fucking work. Yeah, so. yeah. Go yeah. and have fun, you know? Go meet people. Put yourself out there. Be free. Go it out. I'm just kidding. Exactly. Yeah. Just practice <laughs> safe sex, okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys heard about that pillow fight thing in the city? Have y'all ever gone to that? I think I've heard of it. Because my classmate was trying yeah. to, like, go out tonight, but I was like, sorry, I already have class. But you should check out the um, pillow fight thing in SF. They have it every Valentine's Day. You could, you know, you might meet some people out there. Because she's, like, from the Czech Republic. Or Prague, yeah. somewhere over yeah. there in Europe. So, yeah. I was like, I kind of wanted to go check it out, though, honestly. Like, because I've never been. I've always heard about it. So. Still can. Huh? Come on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That sounds so good. Let me see, let me <laughs> yeah, no, sorry. Eight o'clock. Yeah. But, yeah, y'all. You know, we don't really have any topics to talk about, but I know we're just chilling. Exactly. Well, we haven't seen each other in yeah, a minute. Honestly, know, just being yeah. real, um, just in the studio and stuff, like, it's been a few we all months. Have, we all have busy lives, you know? That's yeah. what happens when you become an adult. Yeah. It's hard to find time, you know, some free time for yourself. You're either always working or running errands, you know? It's like, it never yeah, ends. That's it what, never ends. That's, <laughs> it really doesn't. And that's, dude, that's why i just been, like, I, I realized when you're trying to, they say you shouldn't do everything in terms of, like, work school business mm-hmm. da 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 having a like a social life at the same time it's like right. it's, it, 
you go kind of crazy mm-hmm. because you're trying to like do all of it when you're not supposed to. You're supposed to just focus on a few things, but yeah. I've been managing all of it. <laughs> I'm trying to drop a class because it's just too much. I'm taking I feel a graduate that. class. I was talking yeah. to Patrick about this. Um, by accident, it was totally like an accident the way I was in it because I was in a regular like yeah. history class, Western music history. I'm a music major, obviously, so I got to take like music history classes. But then it conflicted with another class I was taking. So the head of the music department was like, just take this graduate class and then you'll be able to take both. So now I'm taking graduate class. So yeah. fun. I got to do a 30 minute like sermon seminar about uh, romantic era yeah. music and the sonata form. So if you guys got any good sonatas, let me know. <laughs> Pat just got you. Right, yeah. Pat? Maybe, yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'll think about it. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing um i chose a piece by weber weber he's a german like it's spelled with a w at first weber? i was like weber but then my professor was like no it's actually pronounced with a v i was like oh okay yeah they yeah. they really? pronounce they pronounce yeah, their w's yeah. like v's like was machen cs you know what i mean <laughs> like they always fucking like <laughs> the way because i've taken german in high school oh, like a little cool. bit you know it's very oh. rudimental it's very tough like the way yeah, they yeah. way they, they always they, sound they, angry. The way they talk, right. yeah, that, that's just that's the way they speak. Right. Yeah. Though you know, it's it's with it's with solid. It's very solid. You know, very yeah. tough. Yep. You know, in the the way they um speak mm-hmm. in the language. So, yeah, those type of things. But I think one thing we we can talk about is um, Super Bowl. <laughs> uh, I'd rather not relive that. Memory, <laughs> but you know, um, honestly, like. I'm not the biggest, like, football fan. I am more of, like, a basketball fan. But I just love to rep the Bay. And watching this season... And my brother's a football player. He loves, like, the Niners. So I was really sad for him. Because he's never seen them win in in his lifetime, you know? Like, last time they won was 30 years ago. He wasn't even born yet. I was, like, two years old. I wasn't even in this country (laughs) yet. So, like, I just really thought this was our, like, time to win. Because our team right now was so stacked dude we had cmc you know fucking debo trent williams like all them guys like yeah you know this was our moment and who knows when we'll get another one but you know the future is bright we got brock purdy it's only the beginning for him so yeah i'm still like a niners fan no matter what it was just a very disappointing like season because you know we came from behind with those two wins against the fucking packers and the fucking lions and then for us to just blow it like that it was heartbreaking no lie nah i couldn't even watch the end bro like yeah dude <laughs> once all that shit was like unfolding i was like i can't see this shit man yeah. like it just feels like 2020 all over again Three and i felt and like oh, shit after that Bowl. like oh. yeah like nah like i'm not even the yeah. biggest like nfl fan either because i won't own up to it you know what i mean right, right but it's just just seeing that it's like damn yeah. so, especially how hard they work for it you know in terms of that and like you know niners haven't like won a super bowl in a minute so it's just like and thirty then to get, years now, and then to get beaten by this, years, get yeah. beaten by the same team. It's you know? sad. Yeah. <laughs> it's really sad. <laughs> the same team, and Mahomes is still there too. It. You gotta give it to yeah. Mahomes. No, though, yeah, you gotta man. give it to them. He's, you know, I'm not even the like goat right now. I'm not even he's like talking shit or anything. You know, yeah. it's what it is. You know, yeah. it's whoever wanted it harder. Honestly, yeah. it's whoever wanted it harder at that moment, and Honestly, clearly really, Kansas yeah. wanted it better. I so. think we were definitely out coached too. Like I think the coaching staff really blew it, like down the line. But that's yeah. just my humble opinion. I'm not yeah. like a expert on sports at all, but yeah. you know. Yeah. The plays that I was saying, I was like, damn, bro. Yeah. Like, well like Mahomes we're is not slid win like that. I, when home Mahomes is slid that was that it. fucking that was... first touchdown uh, not touchdown, first you know? No, first it was down. That I was just like, bro. Yeah. Like, Honestly, like... the beginning of the end was that punt. Remember yeah. when we fumbled that sh- Yeah. <laughs> that was the beginning yeah. of the end after that yeah, i was nah. like don't give him momentum dude that's the last thing you want to do with mahomes is keep giving him chances because yeah he will take advantage of it and he's yeah. known for being clutch like yeah. honestly when it was ot we should have let them take the ball first i feel like that would have given us more of a chance yeah you know because then we know like we would know what to do more like instead of yeah. us going first you know what I mean? I don't know. Yeah. Just, yeah. Yeah. No, exactly. But, you know, it's what it is. Hard to watch. How about you, Pat? How do you feel about it? 
No comment. No yeah, comment. He, like, he was so fucking mad because we, we me and him were like texting each other the same night with like the rest of our boys. He yeah. was like, "Fuck this shit," <laughs> and fuck Taylor Swift. <laughs> no, on some bullshit. Just all, out of rage. Just out of rage. All due yeah. respect. All due respect to Taylor Swift. Her songs are awesome, and I was really, really They're glad to right. always, <laughs> always hear it. She's all right, and she's all legit. But the reason she's why so I hate her is because. It's supposed to be the fucking Super Bowl, <laughs> an important moment about football, <laughs> and they, and they, and the only thing we made out of it was take a shot every time Taylor Swift's on fucking camera. You know, you'd be fucking drunk at the end of that shit. Yeah, yeah but, fucking yeah, shit. That's what it is. Yeah. I mean, I was actually at work watching it, but all of my coworkers were watching it with me on my phone, and yeah. Those last two minutes, we were just like, everyone was just so quiet, dude. Yeah. My coworker, August, he was like, man, fuck this shit. Fuck Taylor Swift. Fuck Travis Kelsey. And I was like, I feel you, dog. I feel you. Like, <sighs> look, yes, I respect her as an artist. She's amazing, obviously. She's a billionaire and all this. But, like, come on, man. Like, I'm tired of seeing her face, bro. <laughs> nah, I feel like, okay, there's nothing wrong with her. her. Her music's great. You know, that type of shit. I think it's just, like, the fact that, um... From watching the game entirely, because I watched the entire thing. Yeah. Besides towards the end, because I couldn't, I couldn't bear to stand all that shit. Um, they they kept like panning to her. Yeah. When really it should be about football. Yeah. Like it's right, not even right. hating on her. It just it should be about football. I understand like showing her here and there, but the camera just kept yeah. going back to You're her, back to her, back to her. Shine away from the players. You know, from the player so and the, the, the actual like, Super Bowl yeah, exactly. match. You know, it's kept. They really yeah. showed her a lot, a lot. <laughs> they kept cutting the camera to her. That's more than enough you well, know the thing is it's all yeah. about numbers and viewership right yeah obviously the nfl wants as many viewers as they can get yeah. and you know there was a trend that when they started showing yeah no, 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 no the exactly. views went up so you exactly. can't really blame them for doing that yeah you know? no they're, they're just, just doing business. they're just they're thinking about business yeah. business wise right. on so, top of that you know they have millions of viewers <laughs> you know watching that game and stuff right. like that super bowl, it was the most watched you know? super bowl apparently you know people so. even watch the fucking ads that's how much of a hype it is, you right, know, people right. are, like, excited about the ads. You don't see that shit about anywhere else, about commercials. Yeah. Everyone know, wants to right? skip that shit. Yeah. I purposely watch the commercials, like, True. on that. You know, everyone does, because oh, it's Oh, the Deadpool trailer. Yeah, the Deadpool. <laughs> there about that. About that. Ah. that. I cannot wait yeah. for that fucking movie. Oh, yeah. my God, I'm so hyped. Yeah. Fuck. They bring the TVA in it too. And stuff yeah, it's like what that. I see. The whole like, troll, there's being a troll lit. about it. It's fucking lit. Yeah, there's being a troll about it too, you know? Of course. should all watch it together when it comes I'm down. I'm down. Even though True, I'm Disney, respect to you. Respect to you and all that jazz. But the only way that you'll piss me off if it's not a fucking rated R movie. They have to make it rated R. Yeah. It's Deadpool. Yeah. yeah. Fuck. Yeah. 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 Huh. Now they have to. Any conspiracy theories on what's going to happen? Like, I don't really know. I, I didn't like... Yeah. I, I watched the trailers and stuff like that. I didn't really like um, dig deep into it, but I'm excited about it. Yeah. For sure, for sure. Like just mm -hmm. watching it and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So... Yeah. Other, otherwise, for you musical fans, I'm really surprised that you finally rejoiced with the new Wicked by Universal coming out. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, me and my aunt yeah. are going to go see that, actually. Hmm. The Broadway show, not the movie. But we will watch <laughs> yeah. the movie, yeah. too. But she was like, yeah. I want you to see the, the play before the movie. So, yeah. yeah. It was, go watch it. For me, it was a long time ago. And even though now it's awesome and I was really happy to enjoy that experience... I was a little kid, and every time the monkeys come in, I'm just all like, what the fuck is this shit? One thing I, I watched was um, Wonka. Yeah. Wonka was cool. I yeah, I thought it was cool. Yeah. So. For me, yeah. for me the even though it was really cool as well, I was mostly into it because of the director, because uh -huh. this particular director who directed Paddington had that childlike wonder yeah Be yeah i definitely the got that essence one yeah. thing i love was fucking uh actor um keegan 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 michael keegan yeah, yeah. Keegan oh yeah he was he's so got fat. i like how every time they saw him he just got bigger and yeah, bigger just so subtle i just started busting out laughing because he just kept yeah. eating all that chocolate and shit like that like, <laughs> like, and i love like, how political <laughs> it was actually how everything was like a metaphor for how the world is actually run like yeah. Oh, you know, yeah. you have all these people in power trying to keep poor people poor, yeah. and like you know. I like the way I they fucking that. dance like, too. The, the three, that, yeah. um, the three rich guys or whatever, you know, <laughs> for, like the chocolate factories. Like the way they're trying to convince them, like, oh, yeah. come on, you guys, let's give it the big sell. They were so fun, <laughs> start fucking dancing in unison. Yeah. Just start busting yeah, out yeah. laughing at that. Like, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And that one, 
one of the characters, the um, one of the chocolate cartel dudes. Yeah. Every time he would, he couldn't even say like "poor." Oh. Yeah, he would be like. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, come on, dude. About like... that that demographic of people, you mean poor? <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that around me. <laughs> but there's really people like that yeah. in the world, though. That's the crazy no, there part. Is. Like, there is. I it didn't shows. expect that layer in the mo- of it. Yeah, movie, so, I, I thought know, it was, so I thought it was a good movie. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was cool. Yeah. I'm for- but yeah, yo. But unfortunately, the one and only Peter Dinklage, respect to you, man. Um, he's, in the end, will still stupidly... Admit that. <sighs> no, I'm returning back to Peter Dinklage. He was not having it with Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. I didn't <laughs> know he would have it with Hugh Grant as an Oompa Loompa. Oh, yeah. Uh, Hugh Grant did play the Oompa Loompa. Yeah. In the new one? Yeah, yeah. that was Hugh Grant. For... You can, like, tell from his face. Okay, yeah, now I can yeah. tell. Actually, I didn't even, like, recognize. The fucking yeah. the dance, oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Oompa, loompa, loompa, doompa, doompa dee. Dee. Be, like, be, like, <laughs> be like, be like, you can't stop. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <right>. <laughs> yeah. I already started. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, y'all, I think we're hitting towards the end of runtime. Basically, we're almost at, like, a 19-minute hour. I always go over time, but I always say yeah. 10 minutes, 10 minutes. But yeah, was there anything else y'all want to share? I mean, we're just chilling. Just oh. talking. Mm-hmm. Mostly that I'm just still at school dealing with opera, and nice. even though I I'm excited for the two one act structures we are performing, I am I am a baritonist, so I'm going to be playing a high bass part in the upcoming role. Cool, nice. Yep. No, you got Pat. <laughs> <laughs> See. Mm-hmm. Um, I do have a single coming out next Friday called Heaven Sent, produced by the one and only JNO. So watch out hey. for that. <laughs> yeah, look out for it, y'all. Check it out on our pages, you know, all stream platforms. And mm-hmm. yeah, y'all, hope you guys love this episode. We're kind of just chilling, you know, just talking about stuff, you know, especially the fucking Super Bowl. Oh my God. Oh. Yeah. Heartbreaking. But, um, Devastating. Make me cry. But I hope everyone's having <laughs> a great start to the year, and I'll see everyone in the next episode. Peace. Till then, guys. Yeah, yeah.